pullin' out the coupe at the lot Told him for a 12 for a swap Bustin' all the bells out the box I just hit a lick with the box Had to put the stick in the box mm. Pour up the whole damn seal I'ma get lazy I got the mojo deals we been trying Hey, how y'all doing? A lot of these comedians up here, you know, nervous and shit. Y'all should smoke some weed. <laughs> but you know, I have a set, which I'm gonna get into my set, but I wanna talk about a few things. You know, first, you know, being a black comedian and then hearing a word nigga. It doesn't offend me, but I see when somebody said it, everybody looked at us. <laughs> I'm just saying, one thing that offends me, steal my weed or my money. Nigga, I can let that go. Not a big deal. Another comedian came up here and said, uh, well, I don't know if he's still here, and he said something about the word. I can't even pronounce the motherfucker. Economical or whatever the fuck. <laughs> motherfucker, just say sound fix. <laughs> say sound fix. <laughs> These big words and shit. My motherfucker's been drinking this shit. I ain't got time for no vocabulary test. <laughs> But beyond that, like I said, I'm another, another comedian. Like I said, I can go on and on. You know, I'm just, it's, let me say this, white people. <laughs> I do come to study y'all. And I understand that y'all are the chosen people. <laughs> now, let me get into that, because I know we think about the biblical terms. Chosen people meaning white people. Y'all only ones who see Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster. All the true chosen people. And I thought about that and shit. I said, you know, what would happen if a white man goes off in the woods and run into a Bigfoot? He'd be scared and shit. But what would make the Bigfoot sca uh, big scared? Seeing a black man. <laughs> Think about it. White dude, Bigfoot, and my black ass walking through the woods, I can just imagine Bigfoot at you. Is that a nigga? <laughs> you almost seen me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be real, man. like I said, man, I'm from Flint, Michigan, and I was raised up in California. So I tell everybody, between bad water and good weed, I am definitely fucked up. You know? <laughs> I embrace that too. You know? Another thing, you know, I do comedy because I used to steal cars. I'm not proud of it, but you know, like I said, I tell everybody, you know, especially doing comedy. You know, like I said, comedy has opened up doors for me. I don't steal cars no more. So for people who show up to comedy uh, shows and don't want to laugh, okay, motherfucker. Your car gonna be gone like this. <laughs> I have an hour for our lady, motherfucker. The only way to have show, you see my black ass, I'm like, hey! Like, you make me very awkward. <laughs> Like I said, man, I, I like coming out, doing comedy and shit, coming to the east side. I come to the east side. Man. Last time I came to the east side, I party with some white boys and shit. And these motherfuckers were rolling up some weed, but they were like sprinkling some rocks and shit in it. So I was like, yo, man, what the fuck is that? He's like, yo, man, we call this rock and roll. I said, motherfucker, we got some R&B? <laughs> some hip hop or something? I ain't fucking with that. I ain't, I ain't doing that shit. You know? Like I said, but doing comedy for a couple years, and like I said, I love it, man, I really do. Gets me out of a lot of trouble and shit, you know. Another thing is, you know, I just think about all of the good shit and the bad shit and all that that goes on in life, you know. And I think, I need to smoke some more weed. It's depressing, you know, certain things just depress me and shit, you know. But like I said, I love it, though. I love doing comedy, you know. And to all other comedians and shit, like I said, I see, like I said, I just sit back and I'm observing everybody, and I see the nerves and shit. Stop being nervous, you know, because like I said, it takes a lot of balls to get up on the stage and make somebody else laugh. So if a motherfucker don't want to laugh, hey, you always can steal a car. And I know a lot of people looking at me. I see you got my fatigues on. Yes, I look like GI Negro up here. I don't know. To, you know, it is what it is. But another thing I told myself, I'm a, I am going to try to stop stop smoking weed. Stop smoking weed and fucking white girls. They only to do this. I just ain't got to them yet, though, you know. So I'm scanning the crowd right now. I see a couple of white girls, and I see a couple of white dudes like, you better not look over here, black man. She's with me. 
If you don't laugh, she's gonna be with me in your car, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, other than that, man, I have seven kids. And when I tell people that, they're like, damn. So, yes, I've been fucking. That's how you get seven kids. <laughs> and then, you know, with my kids, they do crazy shit. They piss me off. You know, I got one son. He would always be bugging me. Not always, but he, dad, I want this. Dad, I want that. I said, okay, cool, cool, cool. I want, you know, we want some Jordans. I'm like, all right, cool. Get the motherfucker the Jordans and shit. And like literally like a week later the shoes came back, came back home, shoes fucked up. Look like sandals and shit. I'm like, what the fuck happened to your shoes? I've been playing kickball. I said, are you a fucking champion then? What the fuck? <laughs> don't make no damn sense, man. But like I said, other than that, hey, I enjoy coming out here to the east side again. And hopefully I can catch up with somebody afterwards who's not sprinkling shit in their weed. <laughs> We can have a good night. So hey, I appreciate it and appreciate the time. Bro. Have a good night. Gotta move smarter, gotta move harder. Nigga try to give me five mile water. I lay his ass down on my son, on my daughter. I had the Draco with me, Dwayne Carter. A lot of niggas out here playing.